Welcome back class. This video will serve as a demonstration for your lesson two art activity. So in the red font below, this is your learning goal for lesson two, and that is to revise a gesture drawing, so revise one of your five gesture drawings that will develop a figurative work that has accurate proportions and also conveys mood and feeling. Um, so of those five images you sent to me at the end of lesson one, all you have to do for this lesson is just take one of those and refine it, um, clean up those lines, add some levels of detail that really enhance the uh, proportions and the mood and feeling in the work. So I'm going to be demonstrating that in just a moment here. Let me get this ready. So again, uh, you will choose, oops, sorry about that. You're going to choose just one of your five gesture drawings. You can see that I checked this image here. So this is the one that I am going to demonstrate how to refine in this video. So again, you just need to choose one of your five and you take the, you can take the actual drawing itself. You don't even necessarily need to start over. If you want to start over, you can, um, you can actually build um, on top of one of these. You don't necessarily need to start over. So let me go like this. So I am just turning my screen. Oops my computer. Now remember the goal is for you to be creating yours in charcoal. Continue with charcoal and again if you don't have charcoal from your art bag um, that was supposed to be picked up from the school then you can just use your number two pencil. What you want to do is take your charcoal and your gesture drawing again we talked about is a very uh, is a perfect way to start a figurative work to really kind of figure out the proportions that's really the purpose of it to now we can build upon that. Now that we know our, our proportions, we know the placement of everything, now we can really clean it up and even erase some of those, um, those underlying drawings as well. So if I'm refining this figure here, I'm gonna zoom in. If I'm just focusing on the face here, I can start really darkening up some of these areas, really cleaning up some of these lines. This really takes a lot more time to refine and clean up your drawing. I'm not going to sit here and do the entire thing for the sake of time, but you can see how this is really starting to, to look more finished, more complete, as far as the edges and lines are concerned. Have her eyes here, her eyebrows, her nose, working on her mouth. But this is essentially what I am asking of you so you have more of a clear understanding. And it's not just tracing lines uh, that might be what it appears I'm doing. Oops, in this drawing, I'm trying to draw her collarbone now. Um, you can also add other details like, a, you know, the fold of, you know, her shirt, the wrinkles of her shirt, even add some shadows and details. You can take your charcoal and you can blend it with your finger. You can even make changes. So I'm adding more some muscular definition to the arm here. I can add more strands of hair to really give some, some flow to the hair, some movement motion to the hair. And even in this one, I can, uh, in the, this drawing, I specifically made this figure uh, with a, a smile with her eyebrows up to make her look more happy and joyful since that is the essential pose that she is um, giving off in the the under drawing the gesture drawing uh, so remember one of the objectives is to uh, make sure that your drawing shows a specific mood uh, not just through the action but through the the, the pose of the um, the figure so it, once i finish my final one might look something more like this um, even though here she doesn't look as happy. I don't know why um, I did it like this here. Uh, let me just fix that real quick. So even just something like that. That'll help. So I can add some shadows here in certain areas. But there, she's already happier, happier than she was. But again, like I said, your refinement can have more shadows, more value. Uh, where you where you want it, where you see the folds and creases and areas. You can add a little bit more detail like that. Um, but anyway, this is a more um, 
revised revised drawing of what I would expect. So you're going to send me a revised one. And then the last thing that I did not do yet is that you can also erase the underdrawing, really kind of clean it up. Erase all those extra lines that you don't need anymore. Uh, so it looks more like a clean drawing. And that is it for um, this lesson. Uh, next lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to add more mood and feeling in and around uh, the figure and the background. But again, for this, oops, sorry guys, for this lesson, let me close this out. For this lesson, we're just refining the one. You're just refining that one gesture drawing and sending that to me. All right, so I look forward to seeing your um, revised, revised gesture drawing for your one, your one subject, your one figure. And uh, after that, we will jump into lesson three to finish up the, the unit. All right, guys, um, please make sure you send that to me so I can see how you're doing at home. Please message me if you have any questions, and I will see you for lesson three. All right, bye, guys.